Okay, I'm going to record a quick video here. This is uh, the little tiny screen I've attached to the top of my uh, my uh, Arduino Nano that currently uses some uh, custom G-code firmware. And it's got a little status screen so I can quickly look at it and see what's going on. I'm just going to send a G-code file to it now. And you're going to see that the string that's being sent to the machine on the top doesn't uh, always fit along, but uh, it processes each job and then uh, it will uh, show a little status bar on the bottom of how it progresses. Unfortunately, I can't make it update um, the position all the time, or it would actually slow down the stepper motors too much. Uh, it's working over the uh, I, uh, the uh, two-wire interface, and then I made a little custom uh, graphic showing when the beam is on, because right now it's uh, currently in the uh, mode that drives the laser laser engraver and I might make a few other graphics but uh, anytime that it uh, detects that the uh, z-axis goes negative that allows the beam to be on and there's a slight warm-up period for the type of laser that's being used so there you can see it's probably entered uh, uh, no that's just a zero move so now here we'll be warming up a beam and you'll see there we go and uh, that's about it. And again, that little line at the bottom, that little progress bar, is pretty much just showing you that it's in the middle of a task. And the fact that the little beam gra uh, graphic flickers lets you know that it hasn't locked up or frozen or anything. And uh, I'm just going to try and rotate this here a bit. It's just on a little nano, a little custom connector right now for testing, and I'll I'll increase that uh, or improve that connector later and relocate the screen when it's on a machine, obviously. But here it's just nice and small, so I can bring it around with me and work on the code. And again, that's homing at the end of the sequence. And there we go, done the G-code file. Thanks for watching.